you when you decide to go out to eat. It can be a challenge to pick a restaurant and once you do, it can be even harder to narrow down which dish you want there. Our next guest is here to help. Do not worry in this month's Triad Eats. We want to welcome back Algernon Cash, the founding director of Triad Food and Beverage Coalition. He's here to tell us about some fantastic restaurants by the Triad, plus some personal favorites, of course, as always, Algernon, that you have at these spots. So thank you so much for joining us here this morning. Always, always, well, always enjoy being here with you and your viewers. Yeah, so let's start with the first restaurant, Sophie's Cork and Ale in Lexington. What stands out to you about this place? Well, you know, Chef John Wilson is someone that has really trained under, under, under a lot of chefs throughout the region. I mean, he worked under Chef uh, Travis Myers, who is a former North Carolina Chef of the Year. And um, he's got a really cool place down in Lexington. He's our um, Eat Drink Triad Burger Week champion. Yes. Um, does a lot of creative things. Came up with the shrimp and grits burger that was so popular throughout the region. But um, you know, it, it, Lexington's a small town, typically known for barbecue. But they've got they've got a really innovative chef down there. Good to highlight some other stuff there too. Now there's also a new soul food cafe I hear in downtown Winston Salem, District 924. Tell us all about it. Who who doesn't like fried chicken, <laughs> macaroni and cheese, and collard greens? Right. Weirdos, so I don't know. like every. <laughs> Everyone loves that, and I think District 924 really nails that. Um, they're a little bit off the beaten path in downtown. I think a lot of people in downtown Winston-Salem look for restaurants like on 4th Street and Trey Street within those quarters. Mm -hmm. They're over on South Marshall, a little bit closer to Old Salem. But if you love soul food, it is certainly worth going out your way. Good to know. Now, for our friends in Greensboro, your pick, Sweet Old Bills. I'm walking in there. What should I get? What am I looking for on the menu? Actually, let me correct it. So this is for my friends in High Point. So oh, if you're High, on Point, okay. High Point, okay. Sweet Bills is in High Point. Um, I'm a huge fan of their um, loaded brisket nachos. Um, they, they really specialize in barbecue there. Um, it, it, you know, but I, I absolutely love that dish at, at, at Sweet Bills in, in High Point, not, not Greensboro. Sorry about that. That was uh, in this in this script, but I'll make sure that we know folks at home. High point. Definitely want to get out there because brisket nachos sound amazing. Now, Springhouse, yes. correct me if I'm wrong. That's in Winston-Salem, also on your list, right? They they are in downtown Winston-Salem. Okay, I cool. love those guys. I, I actually was there last night. Um, every Tuesday through the month of February, they do a white tiger noodle shop pop up. Um, so if you love ramen, um, I, I love ramen. Um, Springhouse does it every Tuesday. They're also the host of our annual Love Love Festival where we bring chefs from all around the country right here to Winston-Salem. They do that every summer. And, and then they just provide a really solid um, fine dining menu, you know, week to week. So I love those guys. Um, but if you want to take advantage of the white tiger noodle, um, shop pop up that's going to be through February. That's every Tuesday. Um, Springhouse has an Italian chef that actually studied in Japan. Wow. Um, so you got an Italian chef making Japanese ramen. Uh, it's certainly worth uh, going to check it out. Yeah, definitely puts a twist probably on something that maybe some other maybe you've tried before, but it could be totally different there. So I'll definitely have to check that out. Finally, trips. It is definitely in Greensboro and your recommendation for casual dining. Why is that? You know, they're, they're just a longtime regional hero, man. They've been around. Um, at one time, they, they did have multiple locations outside of Greensboro, but but now they have just, just have the one location in Greensboro. And it's just got a real solid menu. I, I mean, they've got a little bit of everything for, for everybody. Um, even when my daughter's in town from college, she loves to go to trips. It, it, it's affordable. Um, you know, not necessarily a chef-inspired menu by, by, by any chance, um, but just a really solid menu, great burgers, pasta, um, a great chicken stir fry, just, just a little bit of everything for everybody. Well, thank you so much, Algen. You always know how to make us very hungry on this show when you join us, so I appreciate you and all your recommendations. Now we all have our plans for the rest of the weekend, y'all, and the rest of the week. We have all of our places to go. Algen, we'll see you again next month for more great restaurants and places to visit. You can keep up with what the Food and Beverage Coalition is doing at eatdrinktriad.com or on the Triad Food and Beverage Coalition Facebook page. Thank you so much.